Students, professionals, scholars, and educators gathered inside the Stacy Building on the eve of November 12th to hear a talk about Indigenous mental health, a topic that's been neglected in Canada for decades. For much of the last century, the image of Canada has been tainted by the treatment of its Indigenous peoples and in issues like residential schools and assimilation practices of previous governments. According to Statistics Canada, suicide and self-inflicted injuries are the leading cause of death among First Nations up to the age of 44. Giving the talk was Dr. Christopher Musquash, a member of the Ojibwe tribe and associate professor of psychology at Lakehead University. A great capacity for healing and, and, and so what we are seeing now is in, in, in a lot of communities is, is new, um, you know, new, uh, new or renewed efforts at, at uh, developing programs that, um, that, that reconnect people with culture-based practices um, that create belonging, hope and meaning and purpose. Our Voices, an organization based out of the Yukon, is actively focused on improving this problem, especially in Indigenous youth. The organization started in 2013 because of the amount of suicides that occurred in the small communities of the Yukon. They held their second annual conference this past June, calling it Strength Within Circle. Chantal Rondeau, communications advisor with the organization, says conferences like these play a critical role in the minds of the Yukon's next generation. The major thing with our voices and with our gatherings is that we give the young people a place to have a voice, a place to be able to say, yes, I'm going through these issues, or yes, I'm grieving from these issues, and to really be able to talk about wellness and suicide and mental health issues and all of these issues that come up in these small communities and give them a safe place to talk about it. Both Musquash and Rondo agree that more needs to be done to improve this issue from a government perspective with the addition of new services for Aboriginals. With a new government in place featuring a record 10 Aboriginal MPs, maybe that time is now.